The Lanter class, introduction, and practical application of signal check. Signal check is to check and test the signals, determine whether the program is running normally through testing. Signal check can be divided into two types, short-term signal check and long-term signal check. Short-term signal check is the wait instructions. We can add a wait in the program line to judge whether the current signal output and input are normal. For example, in a wait instruction, we have set up a program for the robot M010 output signal and then run the action. The first instruction indicates that M010 signal within output into south. The second wait instruction is to detect and determine whether the signal M010 is output within 5 seconds. If the signal is output within 5 south, the program will move on and the robot will run the posture line motion command. If the M010 signal is not on within 5 seconds, the robot will automatic alarm prompt. This is the short-term signal check. I insert the wait instruction to complete one check. Enable to conduct continuous check, generally suitable for the high temperature scenarios. And the fixture is difficult to add sensors. There are two check methods for long-term signal check. One is set through signal check, and the other is set through condition jump. We can achieve continuous check of signals through these two methods. The first check method, click program, editor S, H, there is a check here. We can select the signal settings of the sensor to set start. And then check robot alarms when it checks an on or a FF signal and delay. To complete the continuous signal check, for example, X030 is the normally open sensor. And the signal only appears when it is closed. Then this signal only alarm if it check the OFF. Here we set up a section of signal check. Insert the start check in and check. We can see the program runs normally and the signal X030 is input normally. When signal X030 is disconnected, the robot will immediately alarm. This continuous signal check is by set the signal and start and end check process to perform a continuous check. The signal disappears at any time, the robot will alarm. The long-term detection method is achieved through condition jump. Let's set up a motion program of pick and place materials. First, move the robot to the picking point, and then insert the signal Y030. In order to check the suction cup picking situation, we need to use an M signal MO10 for setting. At the same time, in order to make the main program only display the content of robot operation actions, we can set condition judgment in the subroutine to check. First, insert a flag in the subroutine. If MO10 on, program jumps to flag 1. If not, then insert an unconditioned jump, and the program jumps to flag O. Then insert the sensing signal XO for OOFF below label 1, and the program jumps to flag 2. Insert unconditioned jump if there is no OFF. Program jumps to flag 0. Finally, insert a custom alarm signal under flag 2. Back to main program. Insert transition points and place points. We will output MO10 OFF, output Y03 OFF, and insert. Finally, due to a certain delay in the sensor X of 4O. So we added a delay to Y030 to ensure the program runs normally. A long-term signal check set through condition jump is completed. Running this program, we can see the main program is running normally. Robot catches the iron block and did not trigger an alarm. When the robot does not catch the iron block, XO for O induction no FF. Program jumps to flag 2. Custom alarm starts. Robot stops moving and immediately alarms. When MO10 OFF in the main program, signal check ends. The program has completed continuous signal check during the robot pick and place process. It should be noted that the continuous check of this signal is during the MO10 output period, that is, Continuous signal check is carried out during the process from M010 to M10 OFF. If the signal disappears during this process, the robot will alarm. Above is the bull launcher class, introduction, and application of signal check. Any questions about the content? Welcome to ask questions in the comments.
follow me for more technical information.